Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's your boy Motion, bringing you guys another video. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how you can get more than 20 kills without landing at Tilted Towers. I know a lot of people think that you have to land at Tilted Towers in order to get a high kill gameplay. Now guys, keep in mind, if you do land at Tilted Towers, it is easier to get a high kill gameplay. But if you land outside of Tilted Towers, it's still possible. In this gameplay right here, I dropped 23 kills, which is the most kills I've ever dropped in a match. But as you guys can see, we're landing outside of Tilted Towers. We're not going to Tilted Towers. We're actually going going to retail road this place is actually a perfect place to go this or pleasant park or salty springs is good places to go when you want to get a high kill gameplay because these are a lot of the cities that a lot of people that dislike tilted towers go to so these cities are still very populated with people and you can definitely get some good kills here now when you're landing i'm not doing it i don't know why for some reason in this gameplay i didn't do it but you want to look around to see how many people are actually landing at that city so that way once you get that many kills or something like that and you kill the whole city you can move on to the next city you got to be quick this is all about speed and quickness so you got to make sure that you're moving as quick as possible and keeping track of the numbers of kills and numbers of people that you've killed with that being said you guys you've got to make Make sure that you're actually looting mats you guys need material within the game because if you run into a team or anything like that you're gonna need mats as you can see in the background right now I'm destroying every little wood thing that I see in my path that's because I'm trying to get as much wood as I possibly can so that way when I do get in the situation where I need to fight somebody I'm ready to go but we ended up leaving tilted towers extremely early right after that first house we ended up deciding to leave tilted towers because I think joy ended up getting like two kills there so once he killed the two people we were like all right that's it let's just Let's just move out of here because I don't think there's anyone else here. We decided to push to factory and luckily we saw another kid just running away. And that was probably the kid that was on the team that Joy killed. So once we killed them, we decided, all right, should we go back? We were going to go back and loot the city, but then I was like, wait, the city's kind of big and there's not really that much action here. You know what? Let's just push towards factory. We were talking about it. You got to have communication with your team. And we decided to talk to just push factories instead because once we killed the people there, we decided to push towards factory where we know there will be a team there. Usually what happens is more than one team will land at a certain location. And by the time you get to that new location, you'll see one team there because that team ended up winning they ended up killing the other team if you can try and get there quicker you can hopefully catch the two teams fighting which is good so definitely keep in mind the quicker you are the more kills you can end up getting so here we ended up pushing towards factory and we saw another team here we saw two kids that's all we saw he ended up knocking one of them over there and then I decided all right you know what since he's pushing that way let me push the opposite way you never want to push the same direction as your teammate because that way all four kids are end up going to be focusing in one direction if you you guys push in like a circular motion where you guys surround the enemy they're not going to know what to do they're going to each be focusing different directions and it's going to make it a lot harder for them to actually kill you and your team as you guys can see they were all focusing joy because they saw joy first they heard the gunshots coming from that way and then i decided to flank around now in this next clip coming up we ended up pushing towards salty because we knew there was going to be a team there that won joy gave the call out that he saw them so i was just waiting for them to appear and as they appeared i decided to light them up hide light them up again and that's how you ended up knocking two of them now i saw they pushed from salty so immediately i decided let me push towards salty and here of course we found their last teammate coming out of salty you guys got to remember just keep in mind where are they pushing from where are they going to if you knock other teammates then you got to understand that there's going to be more teammates coming you, you got to know that there's always more people there there it's never going to be just you and that one person so with that being said make sure to pay attention to where they're coming from and just check around to see who's leading the pack and who's far back from the pack so like I was saying, you got to pay attention to if you kill somebody, if they get knocked or if they immediately die. Now, once they immediately die, you got to know that because they died, that's the end of it. Their whole team is dead. So once you see people knocked, you got to know there's going to be more people. Now, right here, we heard two teams fighting immediately. Instead of just sitting back, I actually sniped that kid right there. Instead of just sitting back, we decide we got to push up on these people because we got to get aggressive. They're distracted. And I think they ended up winning the fight. So now it's us two against a full team. So they have the high number on us. So immediately the first thing you got to do is snipe one of them you got to try and knock one of them so that way you get the numbers to be evened out now that is a 4v2 or a 3v2 because i knocked one one of them is most likely going to be trying to pick up his friends so you got to push up as quick as possible so that means it's going to be a 2v2 where their two kids are focusing you and your teammate uh you just got to keep, keep pay attention to the numbers you got to always be paying attention to different things like the numbers of how many teammates you got up how many people you've knocked and you got to have communication so that way your teammate can let you know where he sees people and if he knocks anyone so now 
how a lot of people end up getting in this situation where they have a whole bunch of people cluttered up fighting with shotguns in this certain location. You gotta be able to hit your shots. You gotta really focus up, don't get nervous, and hit your shots. Joy ended up going down, but he gave me the call out that he's in a bush. So right here, immediately, I shot that bush right there. Because normally, I would not have looked at that bush and thought that that was a person. But because Joy gave the call out and he let me know... I automatically knew, okay, he's the bush, so I shot him. So again, callouts are huge, you guys. Please make sure you're giving callouts to your teammates and stuff like that. And whenever you knock somebody, always push. You can see Joy's pushing the right side, and I'm pushing right here to the left. That's because that's what you guys want to do. You never want to push a team full on with both you guys going the same direction because that way the team doesn't have much to worry about. All they have to do is look forward and see exactly where you guys are. If you guys are pushing from different directions, they don't know exactly where you are or where you're coming from, so it makes it harder for them to actually focus you and your team now if you guys have been watching in the gameplay you notice that me and joy are getting super aggressive anytime we hear gunshots anytime we see people we're pushing these people immediately that's what you have to do if you want high kill gameplay you have to not be scared and you have to push anytime you hear gunshots or something like that you have to push guys again this is for a very high kill gameplay like 20 plus kills you got to be able to push anytime you hear anything and anytime you see someone in the storm you want to make sure you knock them and the storm doesn't knock them so that way you can get the kill yourself instead of the storm Storm actually just killing them automatically. So Joy ends up going down. I know that he got went down over here, so I know somebody's back here. Keep in mind, once I shotgun this kid, I know that the person that I was chasing at, at first, he was over there northeast. So I decided to end up peeking my head because I knew he was going to rush. Knocked him down, and then I knew there was one more person. You just got to sound whore and listen to where they are. I heard him picking up his friend, so that's exactly what I did. Just went down there and killed him automatically. You guys got to pay attention and sound whore. Map knowledge is huge within this game. And now if you're wondering what that I mean by that, it's exactly knowing where the enemy is. If you saw somebody pushing a certain way, always have that in the back of your head that he's going to be over there. He's probably going to push a certain way. Now right here, I heard these people fighting, so I automatically decided, let me try and snipe. I knock one, and instead of running all the way over there to him, because by the time I run over there, his teammate would have picked him up, I decided, you know what, let me launch pad just to get there even quicker. Again, everything is about moving quick. The launch pads, having launch pads are huge when you're trying to get a high kill gameplay, because the more launch pads you have, the better chance you have of actually moving across the map faster. So being quick, of course, helps out a lot, and if you guys watch that kill just there i was building heavy i was trying not to take as much damage as i possibly can but right now we have 17 kills in a top 10 situation this is where you really have to make a break this is where you have to get as aggressive as possible you have to try to find these last few kids because if you can find these last people and you can kill them all you're definitely going to break that 20 bomb and that's exactly what we're looking for so we only need three kills to break that 20 bomb so of course i'm running around the map i don't care if people see me as long as they shoot at me and i know where their location is i can actually end up focusing them and trying to kill them so i see one of the people in the woods hiding now if you see someone hiding like this you automatically should know that they're probably not the best player ever because they're hiding from everyone else so immediately i decide let me push him quick i knocked him i thought he was alone but because i knocked him immediately i'm building around me to make sure i had no clue where his other teammate was so what i did was i just built around me healed up and waited till i found his teammate to come up i did not thirst him or anything like that because if i thirsted him his teammate could have easily just left but because he's sitting there crawling he's probably telling his teammate yo come pick me up come pick me up he's gonna come back and try and get him so after i ended up seeing where his teammate was i decided to build up always build i didn't want to take as much damage as possible because i did not want to die this was it i was if i killed these two people i was one kill away from hitting the 20 bomb now, as you can see, the second I kill him right there, I decide just to turn around and start pushing for the next people. Because I was in a gunfight, that means other people heard, and anyone that's close by probably heard it. So they're probably going to be either one, hiding from me, or two, pushing up to me. If they heard it, they're definitely going to push up because they know that the people are weak over there. Especially in the top 10 situation, a lot of people like to do that because they, they have a little bit more knowledge within the game. So they know if I hear gunshots, I'm going to push up because I know that those people just got done fighting. So they're probably weak. They're probably picking up their teammates or stuff like that so they're definitely going to push up so you got to make sure that once you kill a full team like that in the top 10 situation you got to be prepared for more people to come because when more people come that's when things get crazy but that's what you want you want more people to come but you got to be ready for it because when people come they expect you not to be ready they expect you to be ready to just die because you just got done killing a team you're trying to recover you're trying to get heals you're trying to revive your teammates so once you kill you once you kill them 
expect more people to come so that way you can catch them off guard when they're trying to catch you off guard. They're just going to be trying to sprint to you as quick as they can to get to you as fast as possible, but that's when you actually flip it and kill them. So as you guys can see, no one ended up rushing me, but I decided to, you know what, push up on this base right here. I heard RPG fires going on over here. I thought someone was in this base right here, but if you guys, I, you guys probably can't hear because I turned the game volume down. I can hear somebody below me, but I know that there's a team over there. So I figured there's only two teams left. There's got to be this person right here that I'm fighting right now. And then there's that team over there on the other side. So once I knocked this person, I ended up thirsting him because I did not want him to get around. And I dropped the 20 bomb as soon as I killed him. So thirsting him right then and there, I dropped the 20 bomb and there it is. Woo, let's go. I'm happy. I got the 20 bomb. Even if I die or anything like that, I still dropped 20 kills, which is insane. It's pretty hard. A lot of people cannot do this so guys pay attention to these tips and try it out it will definitely help you out if not get 20 bomb you'll definitely drop more than 15 kills a game but now paying attention to the kill and how many people are alive i see that there's four people including me that makes three people alive so i see two of them right here i decided to snipe him the second i sniped him i saw he was shooting to the right so i know that the other team is right there that's these two on one team and they were shooting somebody to the right so that's good that there's still three teams alive that means it's not me against three people it's going to make things a little bit easier the second i knocked him i had to push because his teammate was going to try and revive him or something like that so if i did not push he was going to get the revive off and things were not going to look good so once i pushed up his teammate was actually pretty smart. He was a good player. He, he did not end up reviving his teammate. He was actually hitting me with his shotgun shots, which is really good. And if you guys can watch right here, he's going to end up rushing me very aggressive. He's destroying my building, but I'm just building so much to the point where he, he can't really catch up to me. So what he decides to do is he tries to get high ground on me on the edge, which he does a little myth tactic, which it would have worked. But the other person that was on the other team ends up shooting him down. So this is where things get real. This is where I was like, oh crap, I got to kill these both in order to drop more kills. And I end up killing them both. And I dropped the most kills I've ever dropped in a game, which is 23 kills. I was excited, as you guys can see in the background. I'm definitely celebrating a little bit. And if you guys want to see my stats, stay tuned. My stats are going to show up on screen. It's insane how much my percentage was. I was actually hitting my shots, man. I was not missing anything. I mean, I had a 56% accuracy which is insane it's insane to have an accuracy that high and that just shows that i was definitely popping off but if you guys please give this video a thumbs up i appreciate that more than anything can we please hit a thousand likes on this video if we do that'll be awesome and i'll see you guys in tomorrow's video peace